Hi everybody, this is um, the video introduction to learning module 3 and in this video I would like to outline some main characteristics and features of the module as well as uh, give you some advice on how to get started. So in this module we're moving away from um, working primarily within our own group, within our own community and moving into the interactions with the client. As you will see from the assignments in this module there will be fewer reading and discussion assignments and more assignments which um, require you to interact with your client. The um, learning outcomes for this module uh, include uh, learning how to conduct a needs analysis and how to write a needs analysis memo for the client, how to conduct um, the process of writing a project proposal and how to write a project proposal, and uh, how to implement needs analysis feedback received from the client as well as from other classmates and from the teacher. So again, uh, the main thing about this module is that you will be um, working with each other and working with your clients a lot. And this will require you to um, change your um, strategies maybe a little bit, whereas before you were responding primarily to assignments from books and articles, now you will, you're gonna have to work with uh, with real people. So this first uh, stage of the client project that uh, this module is dedicated, it really focuses on a needs analysis and the project proposal development. The uh, main purpose of the needs analysis is to um, allow you, the writers, and also the client to clarify um, the needs of the project. Very often people who hire consultants, and you're consultants in this project essentially, don't quite understand their own needs and their own requirements very well. And so the first role of the consultant becomes to help them clarify those needs and those requirements and to help them understand uh, what is beneficial to their organizations. So as a consultant, as a writer who is hired for this project, you will need to talk to the client and ask questions and bring in your writing expertise, your expertise as a consultant, to help them shape their own needs and their own wishes and their own requirements uh, sometimes. So don't be surprised if uh, the client gives you very vague descriptions, very vague ideas of what they might need because that is where you step in and that is where you use your expertise as a business writer to say, um, based on what you told me, this is, I think, what we need. And so the needs analysis uh, is the document that allows you artic to articulate those kinds of things. Then, um, after the needs analysis document is produced and the client hopefully looks at it and gives you some um, basic feedback, then you can move on to saying, okay, now that I have analyzed your needs, I understand, we both understand what we need for this project, we're both on the same page, we can move on to um, writing a brief project proposal. And the project proposal sort of becomes like an informal contract between you and the client where um, when the client looks at it, approves it. Um, it serves as a main document which governs uh, what you promise to deliver and what the client understands that you will deliver so that there are no misunderstandings the, and, and so that both sides know exactly what to expect from one another. So um, head over to the um, assignment descriptions as you look at the module, um, you know, little by little and uh, you can read much more about both the uh, needs analysis memo assignment and the project proposal assignment there. Now, we will work on these team projects in Google Docs, as I mentioned on this page. If you go to collaborations on the left-hand side of the front page, you will see a list of different Google Docs. Uh, each team has its own Google Doc space, and that is where I want everybody to work on uh, the documents. Now, you can use your group space for discussions, for communications, for preliminary uh, kind of writings and whatever you need to do. But um, once you get to that first and second draft of each document, all the drafts I would like to be posted on Google Docs just so that we can share them easily and see them easily and be able to comment on, on, on these, these drafts, okay? So um, this is an exciting module. I think you guys are gonna have a lot of uh, interesting interactions with the client and with each other. And um, as always, if you have any questions about any of this, please let me know. Uh, this is a learning process for you and for the client. And for me, uh, even though I've taught these courses before, every time there are some new um, new uh, aspects that come up that, that have to be um, 
thought about and interpreted. So anytime you have a question or something is not clear, please let me know. And uh, I hope you have a good time starting the client project. Bye-bye.